Over the weekend, we finally got the first episode of The Last of Us on HBO, and I gotta say, I'm very impressed so far. So let's talk about it. Just for some background on The Last of Us in general, I did play the first game back on PS4. I didn't play it when it originally released, but I really enjoyed my time with it with the remaster version. And then for Last of Us 2, I played back when it just originally released on PS4 as well. But in this adaptation, we got Pedro Pascal as Joel. We got Bella Ramsey as Ellie and Gabriel Luna as Tommy. Now I've seen most of Pedro Pascal from The Mandalorian. I did watch a little bit of Narcos at one point, but I never really got too far into it. Bella Ramsey, actually not even sure what she's in, to be honest. And then Gabriel Luna, I know from Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., mostly because he played uh, Ghost Rider in that, which I think he was honestly badass and actually really good at in. So, of course, with this show being an on-screen adaptation of a video game, of course, most people have their skepticism, me included. But to be honest, I have been really impressed with it so far. They they obviously have been putting in a lot of work to try to keep it as clean cut and connected to the game as possible with still taking a little bit of their own liberties to change it up a bit. From the very beginning of the show, we did get to see Tommy, Joel, and, and Sarah. We got a little bit extra background on their relationship between each other, and I feel like they did a pretty good job. Added in a few extra scenes, and I'm not really going to go into many spoilers here. I'm going to kind of keep it very basic, just in case for those who's you know you might be looking it up or haven't watched it yourself yet similar to the video game we pretty much follow sarah around as she's walking through the house you have another extra scene which uh, again i'm not going to go into but it really was very creepy and unexpected but man it set a, it absolutely set a tone for what we were what was coming back to the accuracy of this show compared to the game i mean now that it's been a few days since it released uh i'm starting to see tons of comparisons online showcasing the show and the game frame by frame like right next to each other and it's crazy how similar both of them are there are literally moments in the show where they use the exact dialogue from the game and use it same thing with even clothing there's clothing that joel and sarah are wearing in the game that joel and Sarah are wearing in the cutscene in the very beginning. One of the coolest things I think about this show so far is from the second that the outbreak actually begins, you have Tommy, Joel, and Sarah. They get into the car, or Joel's truck, Tommy's truck, one of theirs. From that moment, it is almost frame by frame exactly the same as it was in the video game, which was really impressive to see. They did make some slight changes. There's a plane instead of a car, a few other extra different little connections between between the characters and conversations but aside from that it was really like practically frame by frame and it was really cool to see on screen so so far i think they're doing a great job with trying to actually keep it similar to what we all know from playing the video games the biggest thing that they did change was in this apparently there's no spores that you have like these weird little tentacle things that come out of people's mouths and affect them and they bite people which is more typical to like zombies and in every other iteration that we've seen zombies before personally i think having the spores or not having them in isn't going to be game breaking i wish it was there and it, it would have been cool to see but i don't know for, i'm sure they changed it for some reason with that being said i i don't think it's like the end of the world no pun intended but yeah i kind of want to just keep this video quick and short um so far i'm really impressed with it i'm happy to see it i wasn't really following any interviews or conversations like leading up to the release of the show so when i started seeing like a day or two before hey it's actually really good really high ratings on rotten tomatoes all that stuff i was like okay maybe we're in for a really good treat and so far it seems like we are um, so I'm excited to see what more we get from this show what else will change if you guys did watch it definitely let me know in the comments whether you liked it or not or what your thoughts are on it so far I always try to keep things very positive so if you didn't like something you know try to keep it a little bit realistic and but that's pretty much it so thank you all for watching as always let me know if you like these type of videos I'll try to put out more as the year goes on and for now thank you all for watching stop by the stream sometime and I will see you all in the next one